again, everybody. So this week, we're going to talk about a nonfiction book uh, that has a lot of the hallmarks of great fiction, because honestly, I discuss a lot with people the differences between fiction and nonfiction. Some people are strict fiction readers and some strict nonfiction readers. And I always tell them a good book is a good book. So something that makes you turn the page and something that keeps you engaged and interested, something that talks about the things that make us human and that tie us all together, always a winner in my book. So this one is the beginning of a series that he actually wrote, but it's a nonfiction book called A Year in Provence by Peter Mayle. I'm sorry, my fingers are blocking there. Um, so Peter Mayle is uh, an Englishman and he and his wife decide that they are going to purchase a 200 year old farmhouse in the south of France in Provence. It's a lifelong dream of theirs. And then they get there and it is uh, a comedy of errors, things that happen that they didn't expect or weren't planning for, like life, you know? Um, and they meet all these really great characters that live in small towns all over the world, but it, this particular one is in the south of France. Um, there's such great description of food and eating. So if you are big uh, foodie, you're gonna love this book. They talk a lot about the special treasures of the south of France, truffle hunting and the lavender and the wine and the cheese and all of the things that make me hungry and make me love the south of France. Um, I have been to this region of France and it is as breathtaking as you would imagine. Many of Vincent van Gogh's paintings were painted there, his most famous ones. Um, it's just a gorgeous place. So reading this book is like food for your, comfort food for your soul. It's happy and funny and uh, very human in that he experiences all of these things that we've all been there, whether or not it was in our dream house in France or not. Um, we've all dealt with plumbers and crazy people who have to fix our house and um, obnoxious weather that comes out of nowhere that you just weren't prepared for, but is particular to whatever region you live in. Like, I don't know, snowstorms in May, like we get in upstate New York sometimes. Um, so it's just a really heartwarming book. I think you'll really enjoy it. And if you do, he's written several others since then. He also is a writer of fiction. So there are some really neat books of his that are fiction that are um, like kind of capers that are written about the South of France, but are mur murder mystery kind of things that are really cute. Um, but this this series of books is all about his experiences in the south of France. And I think this one was so popular that then he wrote down some more. And they're just all wonderful. Um, I, I highly recommend them. I think once you get read one, you'll probably be hooked. So the audiobook is available on Hoopla. Um, and then the ebook is available through Overdrive. So you can, whichever you prefer, whichever um, one is your preference, you can check out. And again, I'd love to hear from you. So tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. And we are busy at the library making our plans to be able to offer curbside service, hopefully sometime in the month of June. We're not sure yet. We're waiting on information from the state, aren't we all? Um, and we're really hopeful that things are gonna come together in the not too distant future and we'll be able to get some physical books back in your hands, which would make us very happy. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and everybody at the library is really excited for our summer reading program, which will be happening. Uh, it'll look a little different, but it's definitely happening. So get ready to read some and log some and maybe win some prizes. That'll be really fun. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your week and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Okay, thank you.